How many times has fear of failing stopped you from doing the things that you want to do in life? This fear of failure is a scourge on society and it's stopping countless people from achieving their goals and dreams because they're paranoid that people around them will perceive them as a failure if they're not able to complete the things that they want to do. This has devastating consequences on your life. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why this is such a big problem and how many people suffer from it and then give you some actionable steps so that you can overcome this fear and go out and self-actualize and achieve your goals. According to a recent study, 31% of people have fear of failure. And in reality, that figure is clearly significantly higher. Think about it. How many people do you know that are scared of failing and then that stops them from doing things that they want to do? I believe this applies to almost everybody. This is a fear that stops people from doing difficult things. And that's a problem because things in life that are worth doing are difficult. Playing in a sports team, entrepreneurship, studying, content creation, public speaking. You're scared of doing these things because you feel like you might fail. And that would be embarrassing for you. And you would not have any fear if you are 100% sure that you would succeed. But you do have that fear and you do have that doubt and that stops you from doing these things. But the problem is that a life without doing difficult things lacks purpose. So you end up stuck in a loop, never being challenged, never learning, never failing. This is a vicious cycle and it's one that most people are in. And let's face it, the world around you puts pressure on you to succeed. They tell you that you would lose everything if you started your dream business and then failed. And that would be embarrassing for you because everybody around you would judge you for the poor decision that they perceive that you have made. How embarrassing would that be to be the worst player on the football team you just joined? Or say something stupid at a presentation? Or leave your job and then start a business and then that business fails within the first year? This fear of failure stops you from trying anything. But that's a life that lacks progress. It's boring. You're stuck doing things that you don't want to do day after day and you cannot fulfill your potential living that kind of life. You must embrace failure to be successful. But failure is a scary word. It's a loaded term. It means trying and not succeeding. That is all. It does not mean you'll never succeed. It just means that you did not win on this occasion. But you have a better chance of winning next time because you can learn from your mistakes. If you never fail, you're never going to learn and you're never going to move your life in the direction that you want it to go. If you're really scared of failing, then you could learn by watching other people succeed. And how many of us do that? Whether it's watching people do things on YouTube or watching people at work who are successful, and then we can try and emulate them. But in reality, that rarely works because this is not as powerful as learning by doing. We need to learn by doing, which is going out and making the mistakes. I mean, think about it. Do you believe that you could learn to swim only by reading a book about swimming. Obviously not. You never really learn until you get in the water yourself and then make the mistakes and then figure out what works and what doesn't and then move forward eventually. So why do you believe that other life ambitions should be treated in a different way to swimming? Most people learn to swim as kids and kids are not scared of judgment. That's why they're able to get in the water and then fail. They don't care about making the mistakes. They continuously fail and they continuously learn and they go through that at a faster rate than adults normally do. More mistakes equals more learning opportunities. Until you stop caring what other people think, you will be too afraid to fail and their judgment will always control your life and you will never learn anything. So my advice to you is to start failing today so you can enjoy success sooner. You're wasting your time if you're not trying. By starting to make mistakes now, you can get to your goal faster. You can learn more new skills quickly. You can escape the boring routine that you're stuck in and you can find meaning and purpose. And above all, you will be successful. The power is in your hands, but ideas without action are just thoughts. You need to take action today. Your growth will be stunted until you start this journey. So I'm going to give you the key now to overcoming your fear of failure so that you can go out and be the best version of yourself. And all you need to do is follow these four steps. The first thing you need to do is identify the things that you're actually passionate about. Because so many people are stuck in routines, they forget what they actually enjoy. 
Being in this loop of work, eat, scroll, sleep, and repeat stops you from even remembering the things that you enjoy in life. This is a routine that leaves no space in your brain for passion, no time to think about the things that you actually want or enjoy, and you're just at the mercy of advertising and influencers on a day-to-day -day basis. But you need to detach from the loop of modern life to then understand what you truly want. You need to sit in silence and write a list of the 10 things that you are most passionate about. And then think about it. How many of those 10 things are you actually doing? There'll be things on that list that you're able to do, but you're not doing them because you're scared that you will fail if you try. Identify which of those areas that you would be able to work on if you weren't scared of failure. And that becomes your new list of passion projects to go out and action. The second step is to choose which passion that you want to pursue. Now you have that list of areas that you'd like to pursue, you can pick the lowest risk activity, the one that does not impact your life significantly if you fail. That could be going to the gym or starting a blog. Failing at those activities will cost you nothing but time and a tiny bit of money, but not much more. This is not the same as quitting your job and starting a new business where the stakes are very high. You already perceive that doing something like joining a sports team or going to the gym and then quitting will cost you dignity and respect. So that stops you from going in the first place. But that is just a limiting belief. So don't let that overtake your thoughts. All you need to do right now is pick one item on that list that you can attack with confidence and go out there and start doing it. And that brings us into step three, which is actually start doing your passion because actions speak louder than words. Start doing your chosen passion and start doing it today. Make it easy, start small. You don't need to overcomplicate things. This is not about winning. This is about doing the thing, not doing it well. The goal is to complete the task that you are afraid of, not to excel in that task. The outcome is absolutely irrelevant. The only thing that matters is you taking the action. Just the process of doing your activity of choice will help you build the habit of doing something new. You will gain confidence that you can do something. You will break free from the routine that you're stuck in and you will fail because nobody is an expert, but that failure will then improve your skill over time so that you can go out and be successful. You will get better, just keep doing it. Once you have got into the routine, of actually consistently completing one of your passion projects, which you were previously afraid of on a regular basis, then step four is to take on more passion projects. What are the most audacious goals you have? What is the business that you've always dreamed about starting? Now is the time. This does not mean you need to quit your job, but it does mean that you need to start building a new life. You can still have safety nets. You can still have your full-time income. You do not need to go all in. It's a fallacy that you need to quit your job and then jump into business to prove to yourself that you're confident. That is not what we're saying. You just need to spend the extra time to put in the work to be able to move things forward in the areas that you're actually passionate about. You will enjoy it because it's your passion. So why would you not do that anyway? Don't worry if you're terrible, it doesn't matter. You will learn over time, but you need to put in the reps. And what you will very quickly find is that nobody really cares what you're doing as much as you thought that they might. Do you feel embarrassed? Is your life ruined? Does everyone think you're stupid because you keep trying these different activities and you keep sucking at them? Clearly not. People don't think you're stupid. They have issues of their own and they're only thinking about themselves. So just treat them with empathy. Once you're actually working on your most audacious goals, then you've overcome the fear of failure. You're free from the loop that most people are stuck in. And then you're doing things that you actually enjoy. Your life now has meaning and purpose. And you can stop caring what other people think and actually build the life that you want. It is that simple. There is no hack. It's just doing the work. This is about changing your perspective. This is about taking action and this is about seeing results. You have the power to make this change today. You deserve the progress that you want and you should be living up to your expectations. You owe it to yourself. If you gained value from this video and if you found that these steps worked for you, then please share this video with other people who may benefit from this knowledge. And if you want to hear more content, which will start moving your life in the right direction so that you can overcome fears, overcome obstacles, and achieve your most ambitious goals, 
then please subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to share more content with people like yourself so that we can all start progressing our lives together.